Next, we're actually going to get to the very important part of this. It's one thing for us to talk about cognitive document automation, talk about the concepts, talk about the benefits of automation, but it's another to actually see it and see it as it was described and to see it working so that you know it's real and not just conceptual. So next, we're going to show four different demonstrations. One of the demonstrations is an example of HR employee benefit documents that are all wrapped into a PDF. Those documents could be sitting on a server, out on an email address, could have been printed to be scanned. The documents have different pieces of employee information on the different documents, so it's not all the same. It will use a database and a business system to look up the employee ID for the documents using the information that it can find based upon the type of document. It will automatically separate the documents and classify them. Today, I'm going to review some different advanced features in COFAX Total Agility. These features will be specific to cognitive document automation capabilities. They will be centric to the different document processing, separation, classification, and extraction capabilities within Total Agility. Recently, you may have heard of terms like cognitive document automation or even cognitive capture. Both terms mean the same thing. The automation of document processing to eliminate human tasks for the purpose of getting the documents to where they need to go. I'm going to begin by logging in with our demo account. Total Agility is entirely a browser-based application. That means that it can run from servers in your data center for on-premise, or it can run from servers in the cloud in an environment like Microsoft Azure. This that you're looking at is the Total Agility workspace. This is the current work queue. You can see what jobs are currently active, what step they're in, what process they are, the priority, the due date for the step, who it's assigned to. Currently, none of these demos have any SLA configured, but you can configure SLA so that you can see the aging and the system could automatically escalate whether notifications or any other process rules for an escalation based upon how long an item's been in a particular step or how long the entire overall process has taken. I'm going to show you our HR employee benefit packet demonstration. I'm going to begin by importing a PDF. This could have been sent by email. It could have been scanned directly into the browser from a desktop scanner. It could be scanned by a copier or a multifunction device around your office. Or it could have been imported from file folders out on the network. I'm going to scroll through so that you can see there's 25 pages in this PDF. And there's quite a few different types of documents. So you can see all different types of forms here. I'm going to create this job. And I'm going to go back to the workspace. I'm going to open one of these jobs in the step that we call document review. In document review, that is where we're going to get to see how the system separated the documents, where it determined the beginning and the end of a document, and then what it called the document. You can see down here the thumbnails, the number of pages, in that document. 
You'll notice when I imported that, when we were scrolling through, there was no cover sheets. There's no barcode separator sheets. There's no patch separator sheets. There's no blank pages. So the system had to figure out entirely through automation where the document began and ended and what the document was. If you receive documents by email and by scanning, or even other means. You cannot add any type of separator sheet or cover sheet that was used many years ago for pseudo automation to tell the software where a document started. It entirely has to be done through automation to make those different channels and onboarding of documents work. So all of this is correct. If it wasn't, you can fix it here. You can drag and drop between documents. You can merge documents. I could separate documents. Let me show you the option you can't see on the screen. You can split documents here. So you can correct anything. if the system through automation did not entirely get it correct. In this case, and in most cases, you should be able to expect 100% accuracy for separation and classification. And, and the automation did get it all correct here. So I'm gonna say that the job's completed, I reviewed it, and everything's correct. Now the next step, it's called validation. This is where we're going to look and see what the automation was able to pick up from an extraction standpoint. In the case of HR for employee related documents, most of the time you just simply need to know what the employee ID is for the employee that that document is, maybe the year. In this case, it is employee ID the, in the year, and of course the document type that's important to the document. The employee ID is not on any of these documents, and many of these documents are submitted by the employee. They may not even know what their ID is inside your internal HR business system. So it uses information on the document to go back to your business system to find that ID and populate it here. Now, between these documents, and I'm just gonna flip through them just so you can see again, it's not the same information. It's not in the same location. So it could be the name, it could be a phone number, it could be an address, different things that you can uniquely identify back to an employee. So it's not looking in any one particular location for any one particular piece of information. It's looking for several different pieces of information that all relate back to your employee. So for this document, it's not entirely sure that it has it correct. And before we get to this employee ID lookup, I'm gonna fix the year because you can see this this year isn't correct. It's using the first date on the page it finds. However, for this document, the first date is the date of birth, but it needs to be the document date, document year. In this case, it's 2018. Now, I'm gonna look this up to see what my why there might be an issue with this ID. And what I see here is the address in the business system has a street address. This document has a street address and an apartment number. So that makes it, th its best guess was absolutely correct, but it's letting us know that it's not entirely certain because there's some other information around the address and it wants you to confirm it. So I'm just gonna hit enter. 
Now, notice it took me to the next document with this exclamation mark. It didn't take me to the next document in the job. It's taking me to the document that it believes it has an issue with. In this case, this document has no employee information on it whatsoever. It's just one of those forms that gets filed into their employee file record to, say, to acknowledge that they have seen it, maybe signed it, something like that. Auto automation, we could pull the name from the job into this document, but for the purpose of the demonstration, these particular rules require that we need to provide it the information that does not exist on the document. So I'm going to hit enter. It's going to tell me that everything's completed. Do you want to complete the job? I'm going to say no, because I'm going to look at these other documents so that you can see them as well. So we have the name in a couple different places on the document. This document is entirely different. We have a telephone number, we have name, we have social, different pieces of information than what we saw in the previous document, different information than what's in this document. And if you want to know where the date came from, I'm going to select that field. And it highlights where the first date on the page. Out of nine documents in this particular job, one document had no information on the document, required a little bit of help. And one of the documents was correct, but the information on the document was slightly different than the information in the HR business system. So it just wanted that confirmation. Everything else, it got 100% correct. So I'm going to complete this. And then they move, when you complete a step, it moves to the next step in the process. In this case, it's creating PDFs, and then it's going straight into the document repository that HR, HR now would be using. Thank you for watching this video. Please visit us at www.traumatech.com for more information. Or you can email us at sales at traumatech.com with any questions that you may have. We can also begin a discussion for any tailored demonstration that you might require for specific requirements. Thank you again for joining us for this video.